If you're wondering exactly how thoughts create feelings inside your brain on a physiological level, and how to gain control over those thoughts and feelings using neuroscience, this video is for you. We're Stephen Odile Remert, founders of The Remert Method. And our passion is helping you to get what you want by gaining control over your own brain chemistry and changing negative childhood memories to the opposite, positive, and empowering. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and this will help others be able to find this video too. And stick around to the end because we have a little 60 second exercise, brain chemistry exercise for you that will help you to change your own brain chemistry on demand. Step one, thoughts are connections between neurons, nerve cells in the neocortex of your brain. The neocortex is the walnut shape that we recognize as the brain. And all thoughts are connections between neurons in that part of the brain. In fact, you're listening to this video with your neocortex. Step two, connections between neurons trigger matching chemicals. To put it simply, negative thoughts trigger stress chemicals like adrenaline and cortisol, and positive thoughts trigger feel-good chemicals like endorphins, serotonin, oxytocin. Step three, those chemicals produce sensations that we recognize as feelings. And as we consciously register those feelings, the conscious mind then automatically creates thoughts that explain or justify those feelings. And step four, those thoughts trigger more of the same chemicals and so it becomes a vicious circle. So doing whatever it takes to keep your focus on what feels good means your brain is creating feel-good chemicals, which trigger feel-good thoughts, which trigger more feel-good chemicals, which trigger more feel-good thoughts, which trigger more feel-good chemicals. Okay, which... uh, I think they got the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so try this experiment now. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and think of your favorite color. And imagine being surrounded by that beautiful color. If you don't have a favorite, just pick a color you like. And allow yourself to fully focus on just how lovely that color is. And that beautiful feeling of that gorgeous color. All right, you can open your eyes. You just changed your brain chemistry by connecting specific neurons in the neocortex of your brain. As you focused on being surrounded by that color, the connections between neurons triggered feel-good chemicals. And if you were to think of something that worried you or that, you, that upset you or triggers you, those connections between neurons would create stress chemicals which you would recognize as negative emotions. And don't worry if those good feelings weren't very strong or if you didn't feel them at all. It takes a little practice and it's just like getting physically fit. It also depends on how high the level of stress chemicals is in your system already. So just like with physical fitness, if you got off the couch and started running, you wouldn't take long before you got out of breath. But if you're used to running and you do a little bit every day, your body would adjust and get more used to it and you'd be able to run further without getting out of breath. And this is the same. If your brain and body are used to the effects of those negative chemicals, you're going to find it's going to take a little bit longer to feel those effects of the feel-good chemicals. Right. It's just like physical exercise. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the stronger you'll be. In fact, we'll put a link in the description to a video that will explain how you can change your brain chemistry in just 60 to 90 seconds. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe and share it so that others will be able to benefit from it as well. For more tips and information, you can also visit our website, theremitmethod.com, and we'll see you in the next video.